Dr. Smith, physical therapist here, and I wanted to make this video to show you how much money you're actually going to get paid. I have a lot of new graduate physical therapists reach out to me with salary offers, and they don't really understand the concept of taxation, allowances, and so on, which is why I wanted to make this video. So for simple numbers, we can see that if you make $100,000 a year in Tampa, you basically are in charge of yourself, don't really have any allowances, you're only taking home 76,000 of that. Now, if you have one child, it's gonna go up to 78. If you have more than one child, it's gonna go up to 79, but you're still losing around $20,000 of that. So once you get a high paying job like that, or if you get a high paying job like that, don't start making all your expenses to that range because you're not gonna be able to afford it if you're only taking home 80,000 of it, 70 to 80,000 of it. This gets more complicated though if you go to more higher cost of living areas with the same, with the same pay. So say we take this and we go to San Diego. Well now, we're actually only taking home 68 of it and we can add the allowances again, get a little bit more for one kid, have two kids, get a little bit more money. But we can see how this kind of gets more complicated and unfortunately you can make the same amount of money and take home less in a higher cost of living area due to state taxes and so on. So to make things a little bit easier for those of you that don't have salaries and also with salaries kind of going away outside of academia and especially with these Medicare cuts, we'll go into hourly. So most of the hourly rates that I see are between 38 to 50 plus dollars an hour depending on if it's outpatient, home health and so on. So we'll do like an acute care PRN rate of like $42 an hour just to kind of hit the middle of all the offers I've seen. So we'll go into that. We'll use an 80 hour pay period and we'll go into bi-weekly because that's usually how that's paid. So we'll go back to Tampa to start and we can see if we work an 80 hour work week, we're actually grossing 3,300 but we're only taking home 2,500 because of taxes. Now, if we go to San Diego, And you guys can do this yourself too, obviously. We're actually taking home a bit less. And you know, this isn't just California and Florida. We can go to, let's go to like Moncton, Maryland. Very similar to California due to the state tax. So if you're starting out, you don't really understand this, play around with this so you can make your expenses true to this. This is gonna show you how much money you're actually getting paid. Unfortunately with PT, I've seen salaries as low as 65,000, which is ridiculous for a doctorate degree, but we can put that in here and we'll just keep it on Maryland and we'll put it in the annual. And you're only taking home, you know, $46,000 a year. And we're seeing now people come out $200,000, $300,000 in debt. This is, this is just, just fucked. Uh, but that's besides the point. Play with this. Get to know it, make sure your expenses align with this because it's gonna save you a headache come tax season and also save you money. So figure all of this out, use smartasset.com. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any comments, concerns, questions below, uh, comments, whatever, I can't even talk right now. Anyway, comment below with any comments, questions, concerns, etc. And hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you.